So today we're here at the bus. We're going to do some finishing up work on the tiles. And we just need to spray adhesive them and cut a bunch of random pieces to glue them down. I kind of wanted to explain how we've installed the tiles. They're just like vinyl tiles and we got them at a Habitat for Humanity restore. All you do is just score the tile with a blade or whatever you've got and it slowly kind of bend it and it'll break right in that seam that you made. Um, then we just took spray adhesive. The thing that you're sticking it to and spray the tile. I forgot to spray the floor in a couple of spots, so hopefully we don't pay for that later, but it'll be covered up, so I don't think it really matters. Um, but yeah, and then I just let it cure for like 20, 30 minutes. We have some weights that we put down on it to make sure that it's really tight to the floor while it dries, so if you have something like that you could use, that would be awesome too. So this one is not installed yet. Um, we just cut it to fit just the bottom, right below the windows. And to go right around the wheel well. So we're gonna continue cutting these pieces. But that definitely looks a heck of a lot better than these silver walls. And hopefully soon, I'll be able to get the ceiling painted and we want to paint the rest of this dash here. Um, we'll paint the dash white because I painted the stairs here and I like I just sealed the bottom with um, like a clear sealant and then I painted those which looked off white. I just painted them back to bright white and I think it really makes it pop. And right along where that wood is showing, that will be where um, we'll have some kind of trim. Also still, our bus 
does not run. So if you have any tips for us, what we can do. Right now we're looking for wiring diagrams and we can trace the problem as to why it's not starting. But if you know anything about a 91 Chevy Mini Bird with a P30 chassis, um, message me.